Hello everybody and welcome to your 18 tutorial on uh, learning how to code in C++. So I hope uh, that you guys didn't get confused with the last tutorial. I hope it was easy to follow and if you have some troubles don't be afraid to comment below or comment on my website or, or make a post or whatever. Uh, but this tutorial is going to uh, maybe get a bit more complicated or more interesting. I don't know but uh, hopefully you guys can follow along so uh, right now uh, we, we've learned about functions the syntax how to use them the different types and returning and stuff but right as as of now the functions are, are pretty pointless and what I mean by that is this so far uh, with with functions um, all we can really do is we we can just return values and and we can we can avoid we can write text and we can do all that stuff but we're pretty limited so what I mean by that is this okay so say we have a function called add and we want to add uh, two things together okay uh, and and so on and so forth so we have we have int we have num1 we ha and let's say num1 is equal to 1 and we'll say num2 is equal to 2. Easy enough? Okay, so say we wanted to add them together in this function. The problem is, if we look at it like this, okay, so these are local, these variables are local, okay? They're within the main uh, scope, right? So if I was to say return num1 plus num2, you would get an error, right? because these are not global variables they, they are local variables right so say I wanted to add these two functions these two numbers within the add function we can't do it simply like this we need to have parameters and this is what makes uh, uh, functions useful okay they are parameters and what parameters do is that they allow you to add in variables to do certain things with them so this is how we have uh, so we do with them. So you notice these parentheses, they have they have uses, okay? So now we can add stuff into them, right? So this is how we add um, certain things to them. So we can use any single variable type to add stuff to the parameters, right? So say I want to add two numbers, right? I'll say int, uh, let's say int a and int b, okay? So notice the parameter number. The parameters can be names can be any name you want, right? Just because we want to add num one and num two, we don't have to name it num one and num two. We can name it anything we want, right? What we're going to be doing is passing number one into into here, and passing number two into here, and then we will uh, return a plus b. So what we're going to say, we're going to say return a plus b. That's what we're going to do, okay? So this is going to represent the first number. This is going to represent the second number. So when we say return, whatever num1 is, a plus whatever num2 is, that's what the answer we're going to get. So for, to show you how it works, I'm going to say C out add. Now when we do add, when we put in our parentheses right now, now we get we get two things. We get, it says we need an A and we need a B. So what we're going to say is we're going to put num1 and we're going to put num2. So basically, it's going to replace A with the value of num1, and it's going to replace B with the value of num2. That is exactly what it's going to do, and we're going to say return num1 plus num2. So the answer should be 3 when we, when we uh, uh, do this on the screen. So if we run this program, the answer we get is 3, right? So uh, if we do this uh, again, so if we change all the numbers, if I add to 5, the answer we should get is 7. And uh, clearly enough, we get the answer 7. So when we have parameters, the any variable type you're going to pass into here, then you put it in there, right? You put it in there like so, and then it will replace this value or whatever with what you put into parameters. So for example, if I put this as, if I put this as double, right then we're mo we only put the variable types that we're actually going to put it in so if this is an int right when i put it in here it's going to convert it to a, a double type etc etc right so since we're passing the int we're going to want to put an integer variable type uh so the programmer doesn't have to cast it or do anything with it right so uh that's one thing to keep in mind 
And just for one thing, for example, so if I have a boolean, uh, don't forget to return a true or false value. If you have a char, don't forget to return a, a char value, etc., etc. Or you will run into errors. So, so let's let's change this back to type integer, right? So, say you wanna you um this function, you wanted to have multiple functionality, but you want it in two different functions, okay? So, for example. Let's use this adding concept. Say uh, we want to add uh, two uh, two numbers in in this function, right? But we want to have another function that can add three numbers, right? You wouldn't want to make another thing like add two or something, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And there's no uh, there's no arrays of functions, right? So then you run into a problem. You're like you're like okay, if I want to have another mo another function called add, I'm gonna have to say add two. Then I have to say in b and then in c, and then I'm gonna have to do um, adding on the three and say I want to add four different numbers. We'll say I have another one add three, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But we don't want to do that, right? And C++ has a built-in mechanism to help avoid that, right? And what this is called is overloading functions. Now, remember the word overloading because we're going to be using that with a lot, a lot of different things, right? But uh, overloading functions is uh, having a function with the same name but, but with different parameters, right? So these things are called parameters, okay? So say we want something else with the the that does the same thing, uh, but is different, then we can take in uh, different parameters. So for example, if I want to add three numbers, I can make another function called add and say int b and int c, right? And I can say return a plus b plus c. So now f if I call the add function, okay, now we have one of two options, right? We can do the first one, uh, add two numbers, or we can uh, we can add three different numbers, right? So for example, I could say num1, num2, and I could say uh, just passing the value 3. So since we have three things in our parameters, it knows that we should call this add function instead of this one. So therefore, it will return a plus b plus c. So in this case, we should get the number 11. So I mean, wait, the number 10. Yeah, sorry, what am I talking about? Yeah, we should get the number 10. So we got the number 10. So let's take away the 3 right here now. So now we should get the number 7. So if we run this, we get the number 7. Now, for this case right here, okay, sometimes if... I barely, I, I, I never even used this functionality before, and I haven't seen much people use it. But uh, this option, this, uh, this option is there for you. So, for example, say you don't know if you're going to be using the uh, third parameter or not. So, say let's, let's say let's get rid of this right here, and say we didn't want, um, we, we wanted to do a plus b plus c, but we weren't sure. Uh, if we would have a third parameter, then what you could do is set a, a default value for it, right? So we could say that if we weren't sure we we're going to have a third parameter, we could set it equal to zero or we could set it to anything else. So in this case, um, since we don't have a third parameter, it would say uh, 5 plus 2, which is 7, plus 3 is going to be uh, equal to 10. So if we run this function right here, we still get the values 10. So it just gives it a default value for the parameters. So for this instance, say I give this default value 10, right? Uh, the, but since I put a value into the first parameter, so I put a value into num1, it will replace 10 and give it the value 5. So in this case, our answer will still remain the same, or it should remain the same. Oh, sorry. Uh, let me do this for the second parameter. Oh, should be b. So if we run this, it will replace it, and the number is still 10. So it says the default value is 10, but we replace that default value with the number 2, and therefore everything else remains the same, okay? Now, if we go back to overloading uh, functions, it, it say we wanted, uh, say we still just wanted to add two different numbers together, right? Or something like here, but we wanted to add different types. So we could 
take in like uh, say we want to be able to add decimals and or be able to add an in integers right so we could do this so for example if we did um, if we add these two numbers so we say add num1 plus 1 2 since they're both integer types and we pass in two integer fun two integer types it will return this value right here but if we pass in two double types then it will ret then it will call this function over here right and to show you we can use our debugger so I'll put a breakpoint right there and I'll run this and notice that it, it runs this this function right here so now let me stop this from debugging now let me change this type to double now let me go right here and make a breakpoint right there and if we go if we notice it stops right this point right here letting us know that it calls this function so even if you have the same amount of parameters if the parameters are of different types then you can have it with the same name right so we could if we wanted to we could have one pass an int um, int and double and this one we could say double and int right to oh, to C plus plus they are in their different parameters so whichever one whichever order you put it in it will call the uh, the corresponding uh, function so that I'll end that tutorial here and there will be one more tutorial after this learning about functions so I hope you enjoyed this thanks for watching and bye.